Good evening and thanks for joining us for News Channel 9 at 11. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. Did investigators do their job in North Georgia where a man was killed when another man mistook him for an intruder? That's the question being raised tonight after public records show irregularities uh, during the criminal investigation. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sparato explains why one local attorney is speaking out about why he feels the outcome is problematic. Alyssa. Good evening. Just a few weeks ago, District Attorney Buzz Franklin announced Joe Hendricks wouldn't face any charges in the shooting death of 72-year-old Ronald Westbrook. While Attorney McCracken posts and admits he has no ties to this investigation, he says he couldn't believe what he read out of the case documents. He says if investigators or political figures are in the wrong, he wants them to fess up and make it right. This is not only bad law in Georgia, but it's apparently the bad application of bad law. McCracken Poston says he feels something is off when it comes to the case of Joe Hendricks. The shooter uh, gave false information to the investigators on more than one occasion. What Poston is referring to is within these 226 pages of documents from the case, including interviews with investigators. In one of the statements, Hendricks told investigators he lived at the Cottage Crest Court home. But in another statement, his girlfriend at the time told the detective Hendricks lived downtown and was only staying the night. Later, he told them that he lived in Chattanooga, but they were engaged and he was going to live there. And his girlfriend quickly corrected that and said, no, that was not the case. In her statement, the ex-girlfriend told investigators she overheard Hendricks saying they were engaged. She told investigators, quote, I just kind of looked at him and shook my head. And from then on, he said, girlfriend. Poston also draws attention to the statement where Hendricks made it clear he works for a media outlet and ran Scotty Mayfield's campaign. It brings to mind, did political favoritism come to bear in this case? Because there's some reason that this man didn't get charged with anything. And so I think elected officials ought to disclose any and all contact that people might have made, people of influence might have made with them. Joe Hendricks attorney Lee Davis sent us this statement in response to Poston's comments. It reads, quote, he's not part of the investigation and he certainly has no special knowledge of this matter except for what he's learned through public sources. He's simply a lawyer with an opinion. He continued on to say Mr. Poston raises baseless speculation questioning influence upon the district attorney's investigation. There has been none.